Welcome, and it's an honour to have you join me for the very first, the inaugural voyage of my Seeds of Resonance series. A variety pack, if you like, of Druidic-inspired healing tales, voyages of imagination. <laughs> so essentially, I, I'm, I hope that uh, our first session to, together really will be a, a beautiful journey of connection and alignment and transformation for, you know, for our individual selves, but collectively together in this space that we find ourselves in. So if I may, I would like to invite you to allow me for this session to be your guide in a day in the life of growth, a day in, the, in our lives. So within this practice, we're going to be employing a variety of techniques, but in a really simplistic fashion, perhaps we could, uh, the essential features perhaps are breath work, visualization, using the imagination and creating sacred sounds. So using seed syllable sounds that are representative of the healing qualities that we are wishing in this case, in this practice to manifest, to embody and to, to bring about. The idea is that we're going to pull all of this together in this particular practice in such a way that we can help to align ourselves with these natural rhythms and cycles that we have in each of us for our days, in our seasons, for our bodies, all of which, of course, are themes very central to Druidry as certainly as, as I see it and many others do. So in this in, integral practice, we're going to be employing the life cycle of a seed as a simple metaphor for our own personal and spiritual development. So what I've done is I've divided the day into seven key stages, okay? Early morning representing planting the seed. Mid-morning signifying when the sprout emerges, if you like. Midday for growing leaves. Mid-afternoon for when the flower unfurls late afternoon for when the flower closes early evening for rooting down and last but not least late evening chapter if you like for returning to the seed so each of these seven stages obviously works in a beautiful spiral in a cycle so the techniques that we're going to use such as the breath work the visualization the sounding it is my wish for these things to help us to develop and deepen our sense of connection with these cycles, with our own existence, with our own day-to-day -day life. So we can tap into these cycles, whether they be the hormonal, the menstrual cycles, the sun, moon, the cosmic cycles, the water cycle, the plant, plant cycles of growth, the emotional, the, the daily, weekly and monthly rhythms, the yearly rhythms of our existence. So in this practice, I hope that we can develop a sense and cultivate a sense of togetherness, essentially, unity and alignment within ourselves. Through the mindful intention of seed syllables, together, it is my wish that we align our minds, our hearts and our bodies as one. For this alignment to encourage us to positively influence and modify any patterns within our lives, especially ones that we might understand or see to be or perceive to be negative patterns to help us to deepen our connection with life to move away from this feeling of powerlessness perhaps that we all experience at some point towards something that is much more empowered embodied connected and purposeful so within the seeds of resonance series here and in all subsequent episodes i'd finally just simply like to say also that I mean, my intention is not to present uh, any kind of rigid set of rules simply it's to inspire and to guide you perhaps at best so i definitely encourage you to adapt and customize anything that, that you experience in these practices that helps you to resonate you know that resonates with your own personal life journey and life experience so Please don't hesitate, I'm sure you wouldn't anyway, but 
please don't hesitate to question and explore whatever's going on. Please don't take anything at face value. <laughs> and definitely don't take me too seriously, please. That would be nice. <laughs> but equally, I warmly encourage and invite any of you to share your experiences, your insights and thoughts in the comments below when we get to the end of the practice. It's always a, a deeply interesting and fascinating and beautiful thing uh, to do is to is to see or hear about you know experiences difficult or comfortable good or bad or you know whatever or all in between um please yeah you know whatever you feel free to share um, whatever you feel like sharing please feel free should i say <laughs> and of course i i could have said this at the at the end of the session but um again you know if you do find any of this helpful uh, if you've enjoyed or you you are enjoying any of the series please don't hesitate equally to like do the subscription thing and uh, and feel free to share you know your support is is definitely and Im immensely appreciated last but not least before we make a start you might you know if you do enjoy the series you might want to join my sound healing community it's the i called it the resonance room for a whole heap of reasons that I won't bore you about right now. But uh, I, ho I host weekly classes on there for Druidry and all topics related to sacred sound, sound medicine, sound healing. So within the membership, you get access to all of my classes, all of my courses, free one-to-one -one session each month, uh, all of my music for free, and obviously being part of uh, a, sp a special heart-centered community. So I, I definitely invite any of you and welcome all of you to, to come and join that. There's a, there's a link below in the video description for that, should that be of interest. But um, without, without embarking on, on any more kind of self-promotion, let's, let's just make a start. So it is my wish for us to sow the seeds of our transformation and growth with each day that passes for us to build upon the great work, the alchemical work of healing and balancing. So I hope with today's practice, we can attune and tune ourselves to the cycles of life and resonate with the melodies, the symphonies of existence. So just to close off now, before we actually start, make a start on the practice as a whole, I would invite you now with me to close your eyes perhaps to take a few moments to do a, a few simple breaths. Feel yourself grounded with the earth beneath your feet. Your mind open like the sky. And I'm just gonna do a little invocation for us to open up our practice together today. We call in the east the direction of sunrise and new beginnings for the early morning, the chapter one of planting the seed. As we plant our seed, we invoke the spirit of the air, the breath of life and the essence of clarity and inspiration and the Arwen. May our intentions be as pure and potent as the seed we plant, carrying within them the blueprint of our highest potential. We call and turn to the south, the mid-morning, the emerging sprout of existence, a direction perhaps in this practice of growth and vitality. We welcome you with the element of fire. As our sprouts begin to emerge, we call upon the spirit of transformation and passion to fuel our growth and ignite our willpower. May we together rise resilient and determined, just as the sprouts break through the soil to reach for the sun. Midday, with growing leaves, we arrive at midday together and we call upon the element of earth. As our leaves grow, we honor the grounding power of earth, its nurturing, its steadiness, and the foundation that it provides. May together, 
our endeavours grow strong and stable and be nourished with patience and persistence. Turning and unfurling to the west now together, the mid-afternoon, the unfurling flower, the blooming flower, the blossoming direction of the setting sun and the ocean's depth, we invite the spirits of water. As our flowers unfurl together, we ask for their loving, the healing, compassionate and intuitive energy of water to cleanse and open our hearts. May our lives blossom with grace and beauty like the opening of a flower. Turning now to the north together, the late afternoon and the closing of the flower, the direction of wisdom, night and introspection in today's practice. As our flowers close, we summon the spirit of ether, the space that connects all things. May we find wisdom in stillness and learn to balance action with rest, knowing that both are essential for sustained growth and health. Centering now with the early evening and the rooting down, as evening falls, we draw together our attention and intentions inward to our center. As we root down, we invoke the spirit of unity the balance of all the elements. May we anchor our growth in the knowledge of our interconnectedness with all life forms, recognizing our actions, effects, and how they ripple out into the world. Above, below, and all around, together now finally for the late, the lateness of the evening, returning to the seed. Finally, as night takes hold, we call upon the spirits above, the cosmic order, the spirits below, the ancestral wisdoms. As we return to the seed, we surrender to the cycle of life and death, of growth and rest. May together now we trust the rhythms of the universe, knowing that every end is a new beginning and each day offers opportunities, fresh opportunities, for transformation, healing, balance, and growth. In this sacred space that we have now constructed and imagined together, let us set forth upon our journey, stepping together, dancing into growth, rebirth, and endless becoming. May the Arwen bless us all. So welcome to chapter one, the beginning part of our adventure together. The early morning, planting the seed, or in our Druidic language, Meldoriath, Meldoriath, planting the seed. As the dawn breaks and the world softly awakens around us, together, let us engage with the very first phase of our day, the planting of the seed, Meldoriath. Try to now visualize with me yourself to be in a quiet space. So even if you find yourself in an urban environment with lots of noise, like I said in the introduction, be playful. Adopt a stance of lightness in the mind quiet space now develops, we can use the magical power of our minds and our voices to envision and manifest such a space together, where we can be with our thoughts, free from the rush of the waking world and all its noises. The space that we create and cultivate together now Visualize with me for it to be a fertile ground, a sanctuary where you can cultivate your inner alchemy, where you can feel comfortable, like wearing clothes of the most beautifully exquisite soft fabric. So visualize with me 
surrounded, seated, lying, even standing on piles of cushions and soft woven fabrics of exquisite oneness. Free and able to move, stretch. So this practice is a wonderful thing to do when you first wake up in that slightly still sleepy aspect of your day, even if you just do it for a few moments before you have to start your day, just try and use your mind to slow down time and elongate. Remember, this is a druid practice, so we can engage in those magical foundations of our work together. Allow your mind with me now to settle any remnants of dreams perhaps to wash away gently and beautifully like a morning tide. Feel your feet connecting to the earth beneath you, the roots of your hands, your arms and your toes stretching and extending into the rich soil of the earth, breathing deeply together. With each breath we can perhaps even visualize it to be like a, a life-giving rain nurturing the earth, bringing sustenance and togethernesses. So now together, visualize yourself if you can please, to be a tiny seed nestled perhaps within the womb of the earth or in the palm of your hand. For it is the seed that carries with it the universe of potential. This is you. Ready, unconditionally to unfurl and unlock your potentiality. This is your core, full of abundance, full of possibility. Just as the seed carries within it a blueprint perhaps for a magical, majestic oak or beach. The seed syllable sounds that I want you to imagine now and to, we're going to utilize together for this initial, for this first stage of our journey together is th. th. say these sounds quietly to yourself so this is something you can do in the office you can do in bed next to your partner or perhaps with your children are asking you to build something out of lego or you make breakfast or whatever so don't feel restricted like i said in the introduction remember lightness playful imagination be calm and resolute in yourself these voicings make no difference to the inner and the outer together as one, without a sense of separation. You say it silently inward in your mind, into your heart, then the seed syllable activates, catalyzes and builds upon these togethernesses that ripple out. For the sound, the emotion, the emotions and the mind are sat the thoughts and the emotion are like sounds that ripple out into existence. So remember that. It doesn't have to be belted out operatic style, okay? That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> okay. So this is a process now that I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain to you how you can, it's almost a, 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 a slight kind of sonic shape-shifting practice anyway. But this is how I, this is my guidance on how to use the seed syllable sound here in our uh, first stage of the practice to visualize and become the seed. So the first thing I want to say is remember that this is taking place as we make the sound. We're not projecting, oh, that sounds nice. I think I'll do that tomorrow. It's happening now. It's taking place simultaneously with the breath, with the sound and with the visualization, which is why we're doing this as, as a kind of unison. 
all of these components are working together for the one, the one vision, if you like, the one sound as part of our magical practice together. So what I'd like you to do, okay, is have your eyes open and kind of staring in front of you as you can feel into your physical body and into your form, yeah? Just very from a, a position of calm and relaxed centeredness as best you can. Take a quick snapshot. You can almost blink like a, and have it like click like a camera. And as best as you can, relax doing so, but as best as you can, take a snapshot like a screenshot we would on, on a device, a modern device or whatever. Take a screenshot of your form. Now, close your eyes and see the outline, see the traces of that picture, that image of your physical being, of your being. So hold that in your mind, like almost like tr using tracing paper to sketch something. I'm not very good at art, so I often use, in the past I've used tracing, but oh look how brilliantly I can draw this. <laughs> So don't be afraid to, you know, do a bit of that. And for the artists out there, then, well, you've got no excuses. Anyway, it's not about that. Hold the image in your mind now together. Okay. So see the outlines, the traces of your being framed in your mind's eye, like a detailed vibrational sketch. So now as you inhale, as you, if you can, through your nose, Deeply and softly though, not in some crazy fashion, in very relaxed and calm fashion. Slow and steady, like a soft, gentle breeze. Breathing in, inhaling, and allow this breath to create an opening within you. So don't just breathe in, see with the breath and feel the sense of expansion within you and your physical level, your lungs opening bringing in the freshness, the fresh oxygen, fresh energy, life force, Neufle. Allow your lungs to fill fully with air, but also your mind to expand with the breath, your heart and soul to open to the journey ahead together. This opening, like an act of surrender, but in strength and empowering surrender, a vulnerability of strength, allowing you to summon the essence of the seed, of your form, your potential. Now, imagine this essence being drawn towards you a little bit like water is drawn through the roots of a plant or a magnet attracting and pulling in with its, with its essence, its force to the core. Okay, so breathe in. Draw in. Then when you feel the time is right, when you feel a sense of concentration, a singularity point, and you feel in tune with that essence, now it's time, now you're ready to exhale. So this is the point now in our practice where you, I want you to exhale and express this essence with the sound tho. Tho. You can say it, you can sing it, remember, or you can say it inside of yourself. Allow this tone your natural pitch, your natural tone, to resonate using the sound thought. Feel it descending perhaps in pitch, although it doesn't matter. You can be playful, so I'll demonstrate that in a second. So signifying a, a reduction, an alchemical reduction, purity, a pure essence, a condensation of, es of energy. If you can, to the size of a grain of sand or a rice grain, okay? You might want to even visualize a hand, a mythical hand, hold where you can see yourself. <laughs> That's what I do. Where you can see yourself as a little grain, a little pebble of sand, I was going to say. And in that small beauty, you have the macro within the micro, the micro within the macro, reducing down the machinations of the ego, reducing the fine source of your togetherness into a single grain of oneness. Beautiful. So within this exercise, obviously, the idea is to, you know, to remind you, no matter how small, you possess this potent life force, the, sim the, the symbolism 
of your own potential for growth and transformation, how something so simple and so small can contain within it everything you need to grow your day, to grow your life, to grow your practices, your abilities, your skills, your understandings, your perceptions and your togethernesses, weaving, singing, dancing, loving, bridging the inner and the outer realms, the dimensions, the breath and the intentionality, the encoding of consciousness onto the waveform. So now we do this three times. And breathe in. So remember, snapshot, open with the breath, open all levels of the being. Then draw in like the roots, drawing in the nutrients, reducing the source down to a fine essence, the one taste of singularity, the duality into the oneness, the calming of the ego, the quietening, of the monkey mind drawing in like a beautiful magnetization an attraction of togetherness becoming that essence that you've always been that you always will be drawing that into the point like the bindle point there you have it with practice you know you'll be able to see yourself so one thing to say is don't feel like and this applies to any part of this practice don't feel like you failed because you can't hold the attention okay this is why we this is why I'm suggesting that you repeat this often so in the Tibetan tradition we're often taught yeah to visualize these aspects of perhaps a, a mantra or a seed syllable or whatever um, the size of a grain of sand or rice so the, one of the reasons being is it takes a lot of courage it takes a lot of clarity it takes a lot of focus and concentration to be able to see with any kind of detail or even do it at all that small so what you might a lot of you might experience is is it you keep getting stuck in inverted commas on a particular size so don't get too hung up about trying to reduce yourself yourself down to a size a grain of sand <laughs> okay it's not easy and if for those of you that can do it then fantastic if you can do it easily spend lot see how long you can hold the gaze of mind at that place with you can use the sound to help you do that and for those which will be most of you that, that find that difficult to focus and concentrate on, just keep practicing, relaxed. Remember what I said, lighthearted. Don't take yourself or anything that I'm saying, you know, don't take this too seriously. It's just a guide. It's an idea. It's something to experiment and, and explore with. It's not something to add to your list of woes or sufferings. Okay. There's no failure. So keep practicing. So like, I, like I've already explained, but just to remind you one last thing before we end this chapter one, this first stage together of planting or becoming the seed, perhaps is another way of, uh, of putting it. Um, yeah, you know, it's, this is a modular practice. So while you might want to try and do the practice throughout the day, don't forget, you might want to spend a, a month, a week, 
two days practicing or a couple of hours keep practicing you know returning uh, planting becoming the seed shape shifting your turning your form dissolving your form trans transforming yourself into the seed however you want to think of it or phrase it it doesn't really matter you know this is a powerful and potent healing practice in its own right the sound is is the sim symbolic of the embodying of that quality of the manifestation of that quality in the here and now thought thought okay so you can practice reducing drawing in to the point the bindu point if you like talma we call this the talma the singularity point grain of sand beautiful and remember also to integrate the associations okay so just as a recap you've got the potentiality and the possibility notice how this is something wonderful to to, to practice at the beginning of your day at the beginning of your day even if you did none of the other stages if you just uh, trust me if you give it a go if you try this even for a week or for a month or for a year you do this each morning even if it's just a couple of moments a couple of minutes or a, a proper as part of a dedicated practice it will inspire and transform the way that you set about and go about your day like a fine breakfast like a nice walk with the dog or whatever it is before you have to go to work or sit down to write your book or look after the children or whatever it might be or even just getting through the day yeah focusing on that potentiality but with a sense of rootedness and grounded groundedness within the earth so we're not just making sounds and thinking of nice things we're also embodying and becoming and utilizing and working with the elemental energies of the earth throughout all of this practice the earth is us we are of the earth we are as the seeds planted within the earth so you you're part of that togetherness the strength the resilience and the structure of, of the powerfulness of this of this earth earth connection so feel that in all that you're doing especially and when you're making the sound this is we're singing of those togethernesses it is a celebration in resonance yeah so So there we have it. This ends stage one, phase one, chapter one. The early morning and the planting of the seed. Meldoriath. Welcome to chapter two. Phase two of our practice, the mid-morning, the sprout emerging, or serendi. As we start to awaken now, as the morning begins to mature and ripen, as the sun climbs a little higher in the sky, casting a warm golden hue upon the earth beneath it. Perhaps now it's time together for us to embark on this second journey, Serendi, symbolizing emergence and growth. So now, at this mid-morning point, if you can, that is, pause. Take a brief stop 
from whatever daily or morning activities that you've engaged in or that you are engaging with and return to that sense of serenity that you found in the morning together. But this time, instead of visualizing yourself or actually sitting, imagine yourself to stand tall with your feet planted firmly onto the ground, mimicking a sprout reaching towards the sun. Close your eyes and allow the morning's energy to fill your senses. The rising, the warming of the temperatures, hopefully. The sounds of the world waking up, hopefully not too loud. The soft touch of the morning light upon your skin. In your mind's eye, visualize the tiny seed that you planted in the earth earlier on, now starting to crack open. Feel the surge of life force as the sprout navigates its way upwards, breaking through the soil surface and reaching out towards the nurturing, ripening light. A moment now, feel this sense in your emotions. Feel this to be a sense of triumph, a symbolic moment in time of your own breakthroughs, representative of your progress as you navigate yourself through your daily tasks, through your life, through your day. Well done. The seed syllable sounds that we will make now together for the mid-morning, for the emergence, is ro. Ro. So in your mind's eye, you can visualize that tiny seed with the sound ro, starting the shell of it, starting to crack open. Feel a surge of life force, nuifre, as the sprout navigates its way upwards towards the light, breaking through the soil surface and reaching out towards that light. Ro. Remember to use the senses, use the power of your mind and imagination. Feel the sensations of pushing through the earth. Feel that triumph. Feel that wondrous feeling of bursting out into the open expanse of the sky to greet the day. Hello, mid-morning. Ro. Ro, the sound encompasses the essence of emergence and growth and the courageous journey towards the light. Powerful, courageous druids and druidesses you are. Wondrous human beings. Allow the sound ro to vibrate and resonate through every aspect of your being, your whole physical body, all the layers of your togetherness. Allow the sound to ripple through you, creating a little reverberation even in the, in the ground. Just like the sprout navigating its way through the soil. So this sound is not just an idle chant, an abstract noise. See it, know it, feel it, taste it, hear it, to be a sonic representation of your intentionality to grow, to progress through your day, to break through your barriers, to reach for your personal sun, the illumination of your togetherness, your goals, aspirations, and know all, all of this to be your true self. Not that you weren't before, but focused. Allow the seed syllable sound to infuse your being with the courage, the resilience that you need to tackle your day's challenges ahead, tomorrow's challenges, but stay present today. 
Imagine the vibrations of echoing through the ground, giving the sprout the energy that it needs to push towards the light. Visualize those vibrations reaching the spout, helping pro propel it through the soil. This again symbolizes your actions and intentions support throughout the day your growth and progress towards your own personal goals so understand this and feel that express that vocalize that either silently and inwardly in yourself or out loud or preferably both if you can simultaneously again the inner and the outer no sense of separation one begets the other one is as good as the other but if you can do two both at the same time wonderful now remember also, just as the sprout does not become a towering tree in one day, your progress might be slow. But with each effort, each resounding victory of togetherness, your present awareness, serendi, celebrating these victories, these achievements, no matter how small they might seem to be, all gathers together and draws in for your potent realization of your possibilities and your abilities. So now we've planted the seed. We've together witnessed and become the sprouting, the reaching for the day, the reaching for the sun. Now it is time to carry this energy and momentum into the rest of your day. So. Whatever you need to do now, continue on your beautiful work. Well done. Wonderful. Embodying the qualities of growth and resilience in all that you turn your hands, your mind and your heart to do. May you journey well through the rest of your morning. Rah! Welcome to chapter three. Now we have reached the midday, the lunchtime. The growing of leaves will now take place. Le linde, le linde, growing leaves. As midday arrives in our practice and perhaps even in our actual physical day, the sun at its peak, casting its potent light upon the earth. The sprout, you, in this journey we are engaged with together, can feel the sun's energy that's encouraging it, encouraging you to unfurl your leaves and bask in its warmth. In this chapter of Lelinde, a time now for us together to explore, discover, and experience expansion and flourishing. I love those words. Find a moment of peace amid your busy day. It could be during your lunch break at work, a quiet moment stolen at your desk, a brief pause during your commute, dropping the kids off, walking the dog, gazing out of a window, with your third cup of coffee in your hand. Close your eyes with me now and take a deep breath through the nose. Feel the energy of the midday sun upon you, warming the layers of your togetherness, warming your face, warming your heart, just like a young plant might do. In your mind's eye, witness the transformation you are undergoing from tiny sprout now to a plant with small but vibrant leaves. Feel into their textures. Allow your imagination. What do your leaves feel like? Imagine the chlorophyll dancing underneath the sunlight, a performance of life on the stage in its purest and most beautiful form. This transformation we are undergoing now together is a mirror of our physical life's journey. Here together now, 
we will expand our knowledge collectively, individually, deepen our experiences in connection with the self and open ourselves up to the potentials, to the possibilities that life has in store. The seed syllable sound we will use for this stage of our journey is pa, a plosive sound. Pa, it's a pa sound. As you say this syllable now out loud, let once again the vibrations ripple through you. The waveforms of the sonic textures, just like of your leaves, the sonic textures of pa. Pa. opening new pathways in your mind. Pa is the sonic embodiment of growth and expansion, like pa. It carries the energetic signature in its sound of the midday sun, vibrant, full of life, encouraging and inviting you to spread your leaves Spread your wings, your skills, your ideas, your influence in a positive, balanced fashion for you to truly empower and embody, to, for you to occupy in your fullness, your space, your spaciousness in the world. As we can say the sound pa or sing it, Visualize those sound waves washing over you, seeping into your leaves like the sunlight, into your being, nourishing your plant. With each repetition of the sound, feel yourself to grow stronger, taller, more vibrant, your roots flourishing deeper. This is not just a physical sensation, so also let it signify the growth of your self-confidence, your wisdom and your compassion. Pa important even though I'm here to teach and share with you sound healing practices and magical healing practices it's important that we take a rest a little bit of respite like after having had a full lunch the luncheon of completeness now we can just take a moment to allow ourselves maybe even have like a little siesta <laughs> but in a momentary kind of fashion. So we'll take a pause. It's important to give yourself time for silence when making sound, when engaging so deeply in all aspects of your being. Sometimes the most important engagement is no engagement at all. Just let go of it all. So take a moment to enjoy a little bit of silence and to appreciate your journey thus far from seed in the earth You've emerged, we have emerged together as a sprout. Now, you, me, together we are flourishing with our vibrant, beautiful leaves and their wonder, wondrous textures. Just like the plant itself, we are a part of the dance of life, the spiral, growing, transforming with the flow of time, beyond the flow of time. So this is the magic of Lelinde, the growing of leaves. Carry this energy, this sense of growth and expansion into the remaining hours of your day. 
into the afternoon of your mind, reminding you to embrace the opportunities that come your way and to fully express your uniqueness, your wondrous story. And remember, we still have the whole afternoon and evening to make the best that we can of these possibilities and potentialities. Allow now a few moments of silence and a pause before we continue on. Welcome now to the mid-afternoon. The flower that unfurls. If before we were growing leaves, now we have a flower, a beautiful flower that represents our travel and our journey together in this practice. Ithildin. Ithildin. The unfurling of the flower. As the afternoon sun together now begins to go a little lower into the sky, we enter the chapter of Ithildin, the time of unfurling and blooming. During this stage together now, we're going to encourage each other and feel a sense of um, connection with the symbology of the plant, the flowers reaching a vital moment of self-expression and achievement within our day, within our heart. The bud that has been carefully nurtured through the day now blossoms, revealing the vibrant flower within. This flowering, representative of the fruition of our day's endeavours, the unveiling of our skills, the unfurling of our leaves, the manifestations of our creativity. So now together with me in the mid afternoon, if you can, and if you can't just visualize it as you go about your day, take a pause from your ongoing tasks, find a quiet corner, a, a quiet moment, maybe a window where the sunlight can gently kiss and embrace your skin. Take a deep breath. and let your imagination wander to the sprout you've been nurturing since dawn. Picture the bud at the tip of this sprout and envision the delicate petals slowly starting to part, preparing to showcase the beauty within. The seed syllable for the stage of our journey now is SHA. SHA. This syllable is embryonic embodying the essence of opening, of unfolding, of expressing as, as we softly now make the sound sha. You can visualize the gentle undulations of the sound waves that encourage the flower to open. Sha. Almost like a lullaby of awakening and opening. Sha. vibration like a warm, comforting breeze, teasing the petals open, revealing the dazzling colours and intoxicating fragrances, the sense of patience, the intoxicating scent of encouragement. the joy that we can express through the sound of opening 
The flower symbolizes our actions, our thoughts, our achievements. Opening is like a reflection of your own openness, of our own openness to share our accomplishments and talents with the world. Let the symbol Sha inspire you to embrace your successes, no matter how perceived big or small, and to share your unique perspective and skill set with all of those around you in a balanced, healthy and harmonious fashion. Just as the flower unfurls, spreading its beautiful scent throughout the afternoon, air, allow your accomplishments, your leanings, your joy to radiate outwards. Let Ithildin be a reminder of your potential to bloom and share your fragrance just like you might wear a perfume or an aftershave or a natural fragrance hewn by your own hand. Allow these learnings, these accomplishments to sing and speak out their beauty and to be manifested through your actions for the benefit of all beings. Sha. Sha. So please do carry this energy that we've just created and worked with together now as your day continues to pro progress. Know that you are like the flower in full bloom, vibrant and magnificent, sharing your essence, your fragrance of togetherness, freely, lovingly, unconditionally with the world around you, with the inner realm and with the outer as one. Sha! Let it be so. Now, in the late afternoon, Nenharma, the flower that closes, Nenharma. As the warm afternoon gives way to the soft hues and dalliances of the evening, we step into this new chapter of Nenharma, the time of gentle closure and well-deserved rest, a respite. The day's journey has been fruitful, filled with growth, discovery, and a sense of blooming and blossoming potential. The flower, vibrant and beautiful in its fullness, now begins to close its petals, tucking away its beauty, a good night almost, as it prepares for the restorative embrace of the evening, of the night. But the flower is not closing with a sense of smallness or failure or weakness, just a simple time to let go, to allow in that sense of rest and rejuvenation. The flower, vibrant and beautiful in its full bloom, now begins to close its petals and prepare this beauty for the restorative embrace of the night. In the late afternoon, as you prepare to conclude the day's tasks, perhaps leave work, journey home, take a moment to connect with this natural rhythm of winding down. Find a peaceful spot where you can sit, perhaps undisturbed, 
and just imagine this in your mind if you're not able to do that physically. Close your eyes and bring your focus back to the flower that has been your symbolic companion through the day. Visualize the petals starting to close slowly, gently, lovingly, powerfully, tucking themselves in after a day of sharing their beauty and fragrance with the world. Thank you. This closing of the flower symbolizes the conclusion of your active engagement with the world. A period of respite after the day's growth and blooming. The seed syllable we will use for this phase of our journey is for, 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 for. Sound embodying the essence of closure, rest and rejuvenation. So you could even try making the sound, but embodying this aspect. And actually, as you make the sound, close your mouth to symbolize the flower closing. Try it like this. Allow the vibrations of fo to mirror the gentle folding of your petals. Feel the resonance of fo envelop you like a soft blanket, soothing rhythms, encouraging relaxation, and an inner sense of satisfaction and accomplishment. As the sound of fo reverberates within you, allow it to carry away any remaining stress or tension from the day's activities. Allow it to bring a sense of calm and fulfillment, acknowledging the progress that you've made, the challenges you have faced, and the accomplishments you have achieved. As we transition from the late afternoon now to the early evening, carry the sense of completion and peace within you. Just as the flower that closes its petals and rests Knowing it has played its part in the dance and the poetry of the day, let Nenharma remind you of the satisfaction and tranquility that comes from a day well lived and the promise of rejuvenation that awaits and beckons with the coming night. Early evening, rooting down now together. Doronst. Doronst. A rooting down. As the sun dips below the horizon, painting the sky in shades of twilight, together we enter the phase of Doronst, a time of grounding preparation for the rest and renewal that the night brings us. The bustling activities of our day receding make way for the serenity of the evening. The energy around us, within us, begins to settle, mirroring the quietening world outside. During the early evening, after your day's tasks have been completed and the tempo of life has slowed, take a few moments to center yourself now, yes, of course, I'm a parent and not just for parents, but many of us, obviously, the, the day's work doesn't finish in the early in the early hours of the evening, if only it did. Um, but this is a quality, obviously, to no matter how busy your evening continues to be, no matter how much more work you have to do with your day, try to 
take a few moments to just feel into that sense of completion, that sense, that stage in our journey together. You can use that to help you through, to keep you going. Yeah? Doronst. Strength. Take a few moments to center ourselves now. Find a comfortable space within your mind, within your heart, within your soul, where we can unwind together undisturbed. Close your eyes, take a few deep, slow, gentle, loving breaths, and begin to focus yourself now to the image of our plant, the plant of us. Now visualize with me, please, your roots, your plant's roots extending deep into the earth just as the plant draws nourishment from the soil, preparing itself for a new day. Imagine yourself now with me, gathering all of your experiences, learnings and growth from the day and integrating them into the very core of your being. Feel the wisdom of the earth entering your body, providing nourishment, stability and a firm foundation. The seed syllable sound we will use for this phase together. Ko. 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 The seed syllable sound embodying the energy of grounding, the secure anchoring. The sound ko. Visualize its vibrations radiating, emanating through you, seeping into the ground beneath you and creating a strong, nurturing connection with the earth. The sound of ko reverberating within you, allow it to guide your energy downwards, grounding you. Let the rhythms of ko foster a sense of calm security within you, helping you to feel rooted and connected to the earth. Ko. down as you make the sound. Call. Travel with the sound down. Use the sound to direct your functionality. This is sacred sound. This is how you can master and use the words of power. Allow your energy to be guided downwards, grounding, rooting, connecting. Allow the essence of Doronst to fill your evening with tranquility. Prepare yourself for rest and rejuvenation, even at the very least within your mind and heart. Let the groundedness be a bedrock upon which you build your dreams for tomorrow for the next day, fostering a sense of preparedness and inner peace as you conclude your day, as we come towards the end of the day. Now to the late of the evening, returning once again to the seed. Kale Nua, Kale Nua. Returning to the seed. As together the cloak of night gently descends, casting a serene hush over the world, it is the phase of Kale Nua the time of returning and renewing, the period of gentle closure and the anticipation of the fresh stars of a fresh start of a new day. As the stars begin to twinkle in the night sky, we can sit quiet and peaceful, spacious, and take a few moments to reflect on the journey of the day. 
our wondrous journey together. From the breaking dawn to the quieting of the dusk. You have been the seed, the sprout, the blossoming flower. And now it is time to return to the essence, to the seed that promises a new day, new growth and infinite layers of possibility and abundance. Close your eyes with me now and imagine and visualize the image of your plant once again. Picture the flower closing, the leaves retreating and the roots drawing in, preparing for the cycle to start anew. Just as the plant folds back into a seed, imagine yourself withdrawing your energies, consolidating the experiences of the day and preparing to enter a period of rest and renewal. The seed syllable that we will use for this final phase of our journey today is ga. Ga. The syllable here ga embodies the energy of the return, completion and potential. Ga with the sounds, we can feel the resonance deep within your being. Ga. Ga. Helping you tie together the loose ends of the day and prepare for the promises of tomorrow. With the sound Ga, you can feel the resonance deep within all of your being, all the layers, helping you to tie the loose ends of the day and prepare for the promise that tomorrow may bring. Allow the vibrations of the sound ga to reverberate and resonate through you to help bring about a sense of deep inner peace and completeness, a satisfaction of a day well lived and the excitement for the potential of tomorrow. As you let the day go, imagine yourself once again as the seed, ready to embark on a new journey with the coming of the dawn. This concluding practice not only helps us to wind down from the day's activities, but also sets the stage for a rejuvenating rest. As you drift into the dream world now, you can carry the promise of a new day, a new cycle, a new pattern, a new symphony of growth within you. Fully in sync with the rhythms of nature, your inner nature and the outer nature, and the magic of your own personal development. For dreaming in the sleeping realms. Gaan. 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 Sleep. So there we have it. I hope you've enjoyed the journey with me. Remember the modular nature of the practice. Feel free to make it your own, to introduce your own visions and ideas, to shape it as you will with the magic of you. Feel free to extract one aspect of the practice, one part of the day's practice and repeat it. Feel free to be playful and to repeat that at any point during the day. Don't feel limited by the timing. But of course, I fully encourage you to try for at least a week, preferably 30 days, a good month or so, to try the practice each day. Focusing, improving, sharpening your skills and your talents very much look forward to joining you for the next part in this series 
and like I said in the beginning please like share subscribe or feel free to join the resonance room community as you wish and I hope you've enjoyed it I very much enjoyed your presence and your time and your energy and may the blessings of Arwen flow through you thank you and good night <laughs>